G'day, I'm Nick from Hightails and this is my soundtrack. Steve from Step Panther, this is my soundtrack. Hey guys, I'm Billy from Hockey Dad and this is my soundtrack. Uh, the first song I learned to play on guitar uh, would have been a singular note rendition of Ode to Joy by Beethoven. Um, it would have been about 10 years old, just had um, my dad's guitar lying around the house, so that's when I first picked it up. And um, yeah, it was a song I then knew as uh, the song from the, the beginning of Everybody Loves Raymond. I think it was um, a Nirvana song about a girl. Just two chords, E minor and G. I think a lot of people, a lo I don't know, everyone was just learning that song. It was because you, you just learn how to change your fingers on the chords. It's, it's a two chord song. It's good. Whoa. So this one is like me and Zach, the other dude in Hockey Dad. We were in like we started like this other band when I was in like year seven or something. And it was like, we're listening to Zach's dad's like, just CDs and shit. But it was living in all torn down. And I got stuck on drums. I didn't even want a drum. Like I was playing a guitar then. And then I just like, they were like shoddy drums, or shoddy guitar, shoddy bass. And I was like, I'm fucking stuck on drums, eh? This sucks. So I was like trying to keep up and it just sucked. But first song, I do remember that. Good memories. Um, I guess I don't do a lot of air guitar playing, but I've got a recent memory of when I have done so. Um, I think I was singing to Knowing Me, Knowing You by ABBA, and it's got that guitar line after the chorus, which I um, did use my hands in the air to play guitar, so <laughs> I guess that would be it. Uh, air guitar, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that. <laughs> um, Black Diamonds, I Want, Need, Love You. Have you heard that? It's like, new, 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 new. That one? Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Um, that's just a really fun, vibrant song, and you know, it's, I guess, maybe you could say it's still the song I'm trying to write, so <laughs> I haven't ruled it out yet, but, you know, yeah, sure, I wish I wrote that song. <laughs> that uh, Jackson 5 song, I Want You Back, yeah, good song. What, what is it about that one? It's just got a really, um, it's really passionate and uh, has a really good bass line. And do you remember the first time you heard it? No, it's always been with me before I was even born. Maybe Pub With No Beer by Slim Dusty, I reckon. That's just a uh, classic, you know. I guess uh, well, family's from Wallabadar, so it's probably pretty country bumpkin, I guess, you know. Nah, it's a cracker of a song there. Good stuff. Sweet Talking Woman by ELO. Yeah, Electric Light Orchestra. Um, that's a song that I, I often DJ when I play when I DJ. Um, I guess I wouldn't be particularly on the dance floor, but um, usually when I DJ behind the decks, I have, I have a bit of a boogie, I guess, so. <laughs> that one's always a lot of fun. Sweet Talking Woman, yeah. You'd have to catch me in the right moment, you know. I'd, I'd probably, it's, it'd, it'd have to, it'd have to surprise me, and you know, it's, it wouldn't happen often. I remember um, some of my mate's wedding once, and it was like hit the road, Jack. Um, is it Ray, Ray Charles that does that? Someone does that. Anyway, hit the road, Jack. I remember that just came on, and I was like, sweet, like probably ten beers down, you know. Felt, felt the need the boogie right then, that was good. Well, I guess depending on how hungover I am, um, at times maybe I've maybe I woke, it, woke it up early um, to go do something that's not very fun, like work or something, and 
Um, that point, I think the song would be Sorrow by Life Without Buildings. Um, <clears throat> it's a very sad song. Um, spoken word, poetry, and um, it's a really solemn sort of, um, you know, guitar riff and very minimal sort of thing. It's, it's nice and somber. A good one to put on would be Come Pick Me Up by Ride Adams. It's um, kind of got the right uh, heartbreak sensitivity that you, because you know, it, be, to use your hangover to its full potential when you're feeling a little bit sensitive, p push yourself and you, you, so you can feel true feelings. Hold on, John Lennon of um, Classic Ono Van record. Well, that whole record, really, I think that's suitable. It makes you feel like life is worth something, you know? Like, especially when you're hungover and you're just like, oh, I need, a, need some motivation to get out of bed. I think that's all the motivation you need. When I was, like, 18, finishing high school, I was listening to a lot of Weezer. Um, uh, yeah, the Blue Album. And that, the first track on that album, my name is Jonas. Um, I saw them at Bergerama uh, earlier this year in the States, and they opened that song. And um, I was playing at that festival, so it was like a very sort of proud moment and um, very nostalgic because it was like, you know, great to sort of be playing on the same bill as a, a, a band that I'd you know, sort, sort of grown up with. And I guess. <clears throat> don't particularly listen to that much anymore, but um, really sort of a, a, a driving force in my, in my teen years of like songwriting and stuff, so yeah, that was really cool, so I guess that's the song, my name is Jonas. <sighs> Lay Your Hands On Me by Bon Jovi, because um, I think it's like the first track on one of their albums and it was like in our car a lot when we were driving places so yeah that was sort of the beginning of a journey I guess going back to all torn down I think that was that whole like what was it's just like the self-titled living in record eh? that whole thing is that's my childhood there pretty much yeah I think that was it